Starting us off in 2014, we had some early Reyna development footage and you can see it's absolutely insane, right? There's no model yet. It looks like she's holding a Guardian that has a scope on it there that looks like more like a real gun than a Valorant gun. We had uh, the way she went invisible when she pressed E. Everything is just super early and it's insane to see how far the game comes. Moving from there, we have a robotic looking Killjoy in 2015, and that's because Killjoy was not going to be human. She was planned to be a straight up robot. You can see a chicken flying through the screen that I'd like to play in slow motion right there, as well as very, very different looking gun and a Killjoy that throws down a mine that spins like a disc insanely fast, which I don't know if that was supposed to do damage or how it was going to work beforehand, but everything looks different. I mean, if we take a step back and pause, you can also see the Killjoy is facing a jet, and that jet does not look like the jet we know today. So, man, if we're talking about early footage, it's right here, and it's absolutely mind-blowing to see how far Valorant has come, and I only wish we had more footage. I wish I could sit down, talk to Riot, and just ask them about all the crazy ideas they had, because they've come a long way. Now, we can't stick a date to every single piece of footage, but we assume 2016 and 2017 as well as 2018 were all things like the footage we just showed, trying different models, trying different abilities, changing up the guns, and eventually this footage was released by Riot, which we only have them kind of throw a camera into the monitor, but it was Riot working on the networking, working on the fundamentals, and basically this is the polishing part. I assume the polishing was between 2018 to 2020, in which, you know, they were working on making sure everything was as smooth as possible. I'm sure it was the infrastructure. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. The infrastructure for Valorant, which is when we hit 2020 and the beta officially launches. As we peek into 2020, even this footage might be more so 2019, but we can't confirm this, is when Riot was showing off this teaser. Now, they showed it off in 2020, but I assume maybe it was late 2019 when they filmed it because things looked so different. The art style was not finalized, the weapons, lighting, and the map. This is Haven Mid that this Viper's playing on, and it looks different. We move over to the jet, and we can see Seaside still once we hit July, we got our very first top tier skin. This is the most expensive bundle in the game till today, and that was the Elder Flame collection. I mean, I know it was very controversial. I liked it. A lot of people hated it, and it makes sense. It wasn't for everyone, but nonetheless, it put the technical limits when it came to skins to an absolute maximum. Animation, art style, and even advertising, right? really pushed it here, and I'm excited to see skins of this caliber in the future. Let me know with the new map Icebox and you know I just said Killjoy was the most controversial agent launch while well, Icebox was the most controversial map launch. Now till this day I absolutely love it and stand by it but you might hate it and I can understand why but nonetheless they did come back with a new map that transitioned into Act 3 Battle Pass and the Act 3 Battle Pass just put the Act 2 one to shame as the skins, the quality and even the knife at the end just a whole new level and it's insane to see Riot keep improving on the value that we get. I, I give them huge props to that.
And the final thing that rolled around is December. December 2020. As I'm commentating this, we got a new game mode, a new Christmas game mode, snowball game mode. Actually, by the time I'm commentating this, I still haven't played it yet because the update came out December 10th and the game mode is not out yet, but we got the night market for the very first time to give us discounts on skins. We're getting the new Christmas game mode as well as a bunch of other Christmas themed skins. So yeah, the Christmas update, I believe is the final thing of the year for December 2020. Before